full capacity. Pilot, we must establish a neural link in order to proceed. Please embark when ready. Established. Rifleman Jack Cooper, you are now confirmed as acting pilot of BT-7274. Protocol 2, uphold the mission. Our orders are to resume Special Operation 217. Rendezvous with Major Anderson of the SRS. I'm detecting incoming enemy forces. Protocol 3, protect the pilot. Reinitializing critical systems. What is going on guys? Afflicted Gamer here with a Titanfall 2 campaign gameplay video. I wanted to let BT talk in the beginning. I wanted you guys to hear those amazing lines that we heard in all of the trailers. And I gotta say, Titanfall absolutely 100% lives up to the hype. This game is phenomenal. It is absolutely stunning. The visuals are drop dead gorgeous no matter where you are in the game. The gameplay is awesome. The relationship with the Titan is awesome. There is so much to show you and talk to you guys about in this video so I thoroughly, thoroughly hope that you do enjoy. I will say right now, for those of you that are considering to get it or that aren't too far into the campaign, there could be some possible spoilers. So if you do not want to see anything in particular, then I thought it would be straight up and let you guys know now. Now, I'm not going to show you the ending, obviously. Actually, I haven't even beaten the full campaign, but I am pretty far into it. So, you know, you're not going to see anything like that. Just a couple of battles, you know, and that that's the most that, you know, you guys will see. So if you're okay with that, then by all means, continue to watch. And there's plenty more Titanfall on the way. So, let's dive into this. First and foremost, check this out. This is so, so satisfying. One, your relationship with BT is something that... I, I can't even find the the best perfect suitable words for it it is fantastic you really feel like you are one with your Titan you know and that is something that was absolutely lacking in Titanfall 1 yes it was so visually stunning it was fun to hop into this big massive machine destroy everybody sneak around as a pilot <clears throat> you know there are plenty of things but in this game there are things like this and i'm just gonna let him again talk because certain things are hilarious i would accompany you but unfortunately my chassis will not fit through the door oh, lucky you i detect sarcasm <laughs> I died of laughter when I heard that. The fact that you have the option to select what you want to say to BT, at, you know, pretty much throughout the entire game, I think is absolutely incredible. And depending on what you say is what he says back to you, you know, and it just makes for a fantastic conversation. Again, building up that relationship. On top of that, the parkour is extremely fun throughout this game, and the environments are awesome. You see these crazy things like that. You know, I don't even know what that thing was that was attacking me, but the animals, the environment, the movement feels so fluid and nice. It is just fantastic. Here we go again with another example of BT's talking, by the way. Listen to this. BT, I found Anderson. He's, uh, in the ceiling. Objective complete. We have rendezvoused with Major Anderson. It's cold, BT. Correct. 
Anderson's current temperature is 17 degrees Celsius, below the threshold of human survival. <laughs> you know, without even being funny, BT is absolutely hilarious. You know, because he's a robot and he doesn't even know that certain things that matter to humans, you know, they, they don't really matter to him. But he does understand quite a bit and I love it. The progression with him is, again, something that is totally second to none. On top of that, when you are in combat, you feel like a wrecking force and when you're not with BT you really want to get him back there are certain instances where you know again uh, you know like I said spoiler alert it's, it's nothing major but you do you do have to regroup with him at certain times and you really feel that want and need to get back to him because you know this is a store you can actually get pretty engulfed in. I, I would say, you know, you can get really invested into it. Nonetheless, yes, it is a futuristic shooter. It's not something that has, uh, you know, insane depth like The Last of Us. You know, and it's not meant to, but it does still give you that element of Ah oh, man, you know this is this is my person. I gotta I gotta battle with. I have to look out for. He's looking out for me, and it is fantastic. I have a scene later on in the game that is from the trailer uh, that I won't even put in this video. But you guys have all seen it if you've seen the trailers where he tells you to trust him. And oh my God, you know that that was something else. That was a very easily one of my favorite scenes in the game one of my favorite lines in this game so far and yeah moving on to also the titan battles you know like i said you do feel very strong and you do feel as one when you are in bt and as you progress and you find you know different abilities that different titans have you find you know scorches uh scorch cannon you find ions gun you find this one you find all different things and he recommends that you should pick it up give it a try you have a lot of versatility in terms of weapons and abilities so you can kind of be whichever titan you want to be all the time you can constantly switch back and forth and that is such a huge plus and positive because every battle is different yes you're fighting a titan but they all do different things and you're in different scenarios different environments and it's great not to mention the fact that when you beat a titan he congratulates you and you actually feel like you really did accomplish something other than just you know destroying an enemy titan same thing with pilots you know the enemy pilots he warns you of the dangers and uh, you know you can really really lose yourself in the game it is a lot of fun you know a lot of people are saying that this is going to knock Call of Duty out of its place now guys don't hate me on that comment I'm just quoting a quote I will say this they're both futuristic games and I'm sure you know I am getting Call of Duty I'm looking forward to that I'm gonna play the campaign you know but I gotta say it's the relationship with BT that is really making this game what it is not to mention the fact that the pvp is phenomenal i will cover the pvp in a different and separate video this is strictly about the campaign and how i feel about it visually stunning no matter where you go even in areas like this where it's kind of dark and gloomy but you know and other places where there's waterfalls and cliffs and crazy places to parkour off of out in the open you get warned that it's dangerous sometimes you're indoors with hazardous materials and you're told to be careful so you don't hurt yourself you know you feel like you're really cared about with with by bt you know like he's really on your side it's uh, you know i know i've said that a few teams but it, it's awesome Times like this where you're hurt, he's warning you of what is going on and to take evasive action, be careful, hull damage has happened, it's, oh man, I really don't have anything negative to say about the campaign, that is for sure, you know, no matter where you go, no matter what you see, it's interesting. There is not a dull moment whether you're in BT or whether you're just playing as Jack Cooper, taking out enemy pilots and, you know, the crazy animals that they came up with in the environment. 
either way what you're doing is super fun and the people that are against you well it's pretty satisfying when you finally get the chance to go up against them for instance the one that antagonizes you the most and tries to kind of get you riled up is ash and here is one insanely fun battle i had So guys, if you don't want to see how this turns out, by all means don't, but I would say this was one of the most enjoyable battles I have had so far in the game, especially how it ends. So I do recommend, though, that if you want to see something really cool and really fun, to stay tuned and watch the rest of this. I will say overall, because there is a bit of talking during this part of the game, and, you know, you might be interested to hear what she has to say against us, I will leave you guys with the rest of the gameplay. Now, if you did enjoy this video, by all means drop a like. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing for more Titanfall 2 content like this, and much, much more on the way, because this game is easily one of the most enjoyable games I have played in a long time. I do like the whole futuristic thing and the fact that they gave heart and element and story and a reason and a purpose to the game makes it even better. So Titanfall 2 campaign, fantastic guys, easy, easy 9.5 out of 10 in my opinion. So guys, I hope you do enjoy and did enjoy this video. If you are playing Titanfall, I hope you guys are enjoying it. If you're considering getting it, my final verdict is an absolute 1000% yes. So, alright guys, that's it for me. Thank you for your time. Enjoy the rest of the battle. It's almost done here, and I will see you guys in the next Titanfall